one out before the race starts again this time. And uh, let's get into it. Going back to Azerbaijan, uh, Perez with the win for Red Bull. Uh, Vettel getting second. Nice to see him back up on the podium. Gasly third. And then we have Leclerc fourth. Norris fifth. Alonso sixth. Sonoda seventh. Sainz eighth. Ricardo ninth. And Kimi Raikkonen tenth. Um, didn't take long for Hamilton to take the lead of this race. Uh, but Perez looked good right from the start. And then um, you know, Verstappen takes the lead over from Hamilton. Does a, has a, have, Is having a great race. And then just a few laps to go. Um, his tire popped. Uh, Scholl obviously popped his early in the race, but then, um, you know, Verstappen's tire pops, and he's done with the lead easily in the bag, and then it's up to Perez to take it from there. Uh, Vettel also had a great race, made some great moves. It was great to see him top performing again, and that led us to three people who haven't been on the podium this year on the podium uh, with Perez, Vettel, and Gasly. It was a great race. Um, crazy grace but a, a lot of fun uh, especially you see Hamilton go right off in the first turn on the restart could have easily won that race and just didn't hit the magic button and uh, when he went out Verstappen had the fastest lap no one beat him uh, due to the yellow flags and so uh, no point for the fastest lap here uh, here's the current standings for the drivers uh, Verstappen is going to stay in first uh, Hamilton right behind him in uh, second Perez going to move up to third, Norris to fourth, Leclerc fifth, Botas sixth, Sainz seventh, Gasly eighth, Vettel ninth, Ricardo tenth, Alonso eleventh, Akan twelfth, Stroll thirteenth, Sonoda fourteenth, Raikkonen fifteenth, Giovinazzi sixteenth, and Russell, Schumacher, Mazepin, and Latifi all with zero points. Move them around how you like. So with uh, Verstappen not finishing the race at all and Hamilton out of the top 10, uh, there were no points for the top two, but they're still in the lead. Sergio Perez is going to jump up to third. So Red Bull first and third right now. And then Norris and Leclerc are also going to jump up and pass Botas. So Botas moved down to sixth. Uh, Red Bull in the lead. And again, Hamilton right behind Verstappen. So going into the constructors, Red Bull stays in first uh, with Perez getting the win here. They're going to get a few more points. They're uh, 20, uh, so almost 30 points up over Mercedes. Mercedes in second. Ferrari is going to jump up to third uh, going over McLaren with uh, the great races they've had lately. And then uh, McLaren's again fourth. Alfa Tori in fifth. Uh, Aston Martin sixth. Alpine seventh. Alfa Romeo with two points now in eighth. And Haas and Williams zero points at the bottom there um really really cool to see this battle going on for fifth place here uh, obviously the battle for first uh, is really good the battle for third is also really good but fifth we have uh three teams fighting uh right there all all close it's all coming down to who has a better race who doesn't mess up so looking forward here to the french grand prix uh verstappen gets the pole position with a minute in 29.9 seconds. Hamilton's going to start P2. Botas is in third. Perez fourth. Sainz fifth. Gasly sixth. Leclerc seventh. Norris eighth. Um, Alonso ninth. And Ricardo tenth. Uh, Verstappen again P1. He had a great lap, but it was just a, another crazy qualifying. Um, Yuki Tsunoda out in the first lap. Red flag throws off everyone. And then Schumacher, also right at the end of uh, Q3, Q1, um, crashes and throws off everyone's lap. There's a lot of guys who probably would have moved into Q2 or at least had a chance, and they just didn't get that chance. Schumacher got to Q2 uh, before crashing. So um, his first time in Q2, uh, didn't get a chance to do anything because of the crash. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, Russell and the Williams first Q2, uh, first Q2 for Williams in almost three years. Um, and just watching qualifying, it was great to see uh, fans in the stands again. It's nice to see that. Um, I think it really uh, helps the drivers out. They probably don't pay that much attention, but I think it helps, you know, when they're cheering and uh, before and after the races. It's great to see that again. Um, French Grand Prix, two DRS zones, uh, really cool track. With that, they make a lot of uh, different changes, a lot of different tracks, but it's it's nice to see 
um, the different colors and uh, lots of turns. Um, it's nice to go back to a more traditional track here. And then uh, next race, uh, the Styrian Grand Prix in Austria, and that's going to be June 7th, so that's next week. Uh, um, two Austrian Grand Prix back to back, so it'll be great to see that um, next week and the week after. But um, three DRS zones for this race, it's going to be uh, pretty crazy. Red Bull seems to be figuring out their speed, having more speed down the straights here with their new engine. So it'll be interesting to see how this does with the three DRS zones. Um, lots of speed in this track, so it'll, it'll be really fun to see it. And thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to, to the race tomorrow. This is the We Miss the Exit F1 show. I think uh, Verstappen's going to win this race. Really fast car. Mercedes definitely thinks they have a great, uh, great chance to win this race. So uh, I think we're going to have uh, Verstappen number one, Hamilton two, and I think Perez is going to get third this race. Thanks for asking, Knicks fan. And uh, look forward to the race tomorrow. Have a good night.